Welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. I wanted to jump on uh, today and bring you a beautiful collective message for the fall equinox. We are here at the beginning of fall, my favorite time of year. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I'm a spiritual teacher, intuitive spiritual teacher, and as I connect in through meditation, as a meditation, a uh, deep and avid meditator, I will sense, connect with spirit and receive messages, insight into the collective and also, you know, privately when I'm working in private one-on-one -on -one sessions. And, you know, when we work with the energy of divine prophecy, the energy of divine prophecy comes in to help us get into alignment with our divine flow with a divine order, with our divine destiny, right? And I was sensing very strongly this fall season is all about energy, our energy and our lives and everything in the collective coming into balance, things seeking balance. And not coincidentally, of course, we're coming into Libra season, which is, you know, is all about balancing the scales. So I do feel collectively like whatever in your life appears to be out of balance, the universe is going to definitely be supporting you and giving you the, the, this, this kind of energy that gives you the motivation to balance out things that need balancing in your lives. Now, remember, everything is coming from within you. As we balance ourselves, as we balance the energy within our own being, then, then we're more in alignment with the flow, the divine order and the divine soul energy that we are made of. So cultivating that spiritual practice, spending time each and every morning in meditation, just simply connecting with your breath recognize that you have a soul, recognize that you are one with the divine flow, affirming that everything is always working out for me perfectly. Everything is always working out for me perfectly. As you get into this energy of knowing and trusting that everything's always working out for you perfectly, when you're calm, you detach from over-attaching, you allow space for the flow. You allow space for things to come into alignment. And that leads me to my next feeling of, of attachments. It is a human condition to overly attach to outcomes, overly attach to desires, etc. Because we're in this collective, this collective energy where we're all striving. We're all striving to be the best. We're all striving to be, you know, uh, an influencer or whatever. Whatever the case may be, it may be more money. Whatever the striving is, there's always an intense attachment to the striving, to the achievement. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be achieving and making goals, of course, because I have goals too. But it's always really important when you're creating goals, when you're creating desires, that they're aligned with your divine flow. You may be attached to something because it's coming from the ego. So maybe you think that if you you know chase after a certain person, that that person may validate you know something that you've been that you've been thinking you need in your life, or someone you think you need in your life, and 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 then it fills a void, but actually it's coming from an ego. It's actually coming from a wound. And so therefore, it's actually only going to be validating your karmic wounds instead of nurturing them. And so that's why when we connect in with spiritual practice, when we move in with meditation, with prayer, and knowing and working with the divine flow, we're in greater, we're in greater openness. We open ourselves to what is meant for us. So we let go of what needs to go and we welcome what needs to come for our highest and greatest good. I also feel like now, you know, this we've all heard about karma. I do feel like, you know, if you're in this energy of being angry with someone or if the, you know someone has done you dirty or, or something like that, it feels like karma is coming also into balance this fall season. So if, you, if you've been attached and angry about a situation or something that didn't work out or someone in, you know, something or someone that may have done you dirty, it's not your responsibility to unleash revenge on that situation or stay angry. I'm getting this very strong feeling like you've got to release the anger because the universe is always going to deliver 
karma, deliver the balance of energy. And I feel like you don't have to be the deliverer of that. God, let God take care of that. Let the universe take care of it. As you detach and nurture yourself, near to the highest love and light that you are, you're allowing space, you're allowing the flow of the divine to correct things for you. And I feel like there's going to be definitely validation for you in your life around something that didn't work out, something that you've been angry with, something that you've been holding on to too tightly, as you let it go, remember, let go what needs to go, welcome in what needs to come. This is the season of balance. This is the season of karma coming into balance and the energy coming into balance for you. But remember, it starts with you. So start with, everything is always working out for me. That's it. Go with that. And it's not, that's not an affirmation of being naive. It's you stepping into the flow. It's you stepping into your divine birthright, which is love, prosperity, health, a beautiful, amazing, magnetic life. As you align with the flow, you serve, you connect in with your dynamic, creative, beautiful energy. And then you know you're in alignment with your purpose and you're taking one step at a time to get there. And as you rest easy each and every day, you know that you're in the flow, that everything you need is right here, right now. You detach from the over-attaching and you get in and you step in with the flow. The universe is gonna be helping with all of this energy this fall season. So take it one step at a time nurture yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others. That doesn't mean that you condone bad behavior or, or anything like that, but you're setting healthy boundaries, creating balance within yourself, mind, body, and soul. And as you do, you extend that out, you emanate that out, and you see everything in your life coming into balance. And I feel like by the time we get to the end of the year, you're definitely gonna be looking back on this year saying, yeah, Thank God, I took some time for me. I took some time to connect with my energy, to balance my life, get out the old, shut out what's no longer serving me, and receive the new, and look how far I've come. So that's what I have for you. Have a beautiful day, beautiful happy fall equinox. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Don't forget to click um, the like button and subscribe. And I'm so appreciative and grateful for all of you who join, for joining um, our community as we build this beautiful place, safe space for love and light and ascension and awakening. So namaste.